Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. I'm with Jack, who I've led out of the social media dungeon to come and do six o'clock Spurs with me today. How are you doing, Jack? Very well, thank you, Barnaby. Are you, are you excited you? to be out of that dungeon? Always excited to be out of the dungeon. It's not very nice down there, so... It's not the only dungeon you've been in, is it? Uh, not anyway, week, let's no. not talk about anything dungeon-esque. Let's talk about the fact that our first news story is a little light one. Carl Walker has done an interview and talked about what it was like playing alongside Gareth Bale. But he doesn't talk about what it was like on the pitch. He's just said that all Gareth Bale used to do was eat beans on toast. That's quite a diet for some footballer. What? Uh, it, what it makes me think is how surprised I am that when Gareth Bale joined Spurs, he was completely thin and skinny, and then he became like a muscular beast. And it makes me think, Jack, if you eat beans on toast but, all the time, will you become a Gareth Bale-less muscular beast? There's a lot beast? of protein in beans, so potentially that is quite quite a diet yeah, for but a lot of carbs have. in toast, so you might go, mmm. Who knows? All, all we do know is that the, the sales of Hovis and Heinz beans have gone up this week, so that's true. That's all good for them. That is a joke he did on Twitter earlier that he's just repeated for you now, just in case you didn't see that on Twitter. <laughs> Let me just say that Kyle Walker said it's got him to where he is now about Gareth Bale, so I might try it myself. Do you think Kyle Walker should do some beans eating, toasty? I think he needs a few more beans than maybe what Gareth Bale had, to be honest. Yeah, he probably does. You're absolutely right. Our second piece of news today is that according to the South Wales Evening Post that we read regularly, don't we? Um, Swansea are interested in taking Andros Townsend. Now, rumours this morning were that Andros was interesting Newcastle on loan in January, but this afternoon it says that Swansea are interested in him. Do you think that might have something to do with the fact that when he came on against Swansea, he looked pretty good? Potentially. I'd, I'd be disappointed if, if Andros goes, to be honest. Um, you know, he's a player that was really clearly trying to, to be a Tottenham player. He's been on loan to various clubs and it, you, can, you can see that he really wants to be at the club. He so, does, he loves the club. So, you know, I would be sad to see him go. A lot of people might think differently to that. But If he were to go, what money would you accept if you were Daniel Levy? Um, say seven. 15 million is what he meant. No way would we let him go for less than 15 million. He's an English international. He's going to the Euros. He wants some game time before that. And it's Levy time. Come on, it's 15 or nothing as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but you know, seven it might be more realistic. I don't know. Okay, and our third piece of news today is that the well-known uh, paper in Brazil, Todo Mercado Web, which obviously isn't a paper. It's a, bit, it's a website, clearly, because it's, it's... Todo Mercado. How's it pronounced? Todo Mercado. Say it again. Mercado. Todo Mercado Web say uh, that we're going in for Sao Paulo's Alexandra Pato. Now this is a rumour that's been going around for ages and we're pretty sure, aren't we, that it's probably I'm pretty sure that it is. This one keeps cropping up and I don't really know too much about Pato, how he's been doing this season, do you? He's improved his form, I know that. He used to be an absolute, like, potential playmaker world best when he was at Milan a few years ago. Then he had injuries and he dropped off and then he went back to Brazil. But all the talk is is that he's improving. Mm. But to me, he's kind of short, he's not big. It, it strikes me as unlikely that we'd buy a striker like that to back Kane up. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree with you, but, you know, he's just got that Brazilian party attitude in him. Whether he's sorted that out, I don't really know. Are you saying that he's a party animal just because he's Brazilian? No. Do you, have you seen him at a nightclub? Adriano, Ronaldo. There are rumours that he was a bit of a party animal as well. So, what, the old Ronaldo? You know, yeah. You heard it here first. Mr. Spanish speaker Jack Bryden says that Alexander Pato is too much of a party animal. Google it. Okay, and, and that's how he knows. Uh, so party. we think that one is an unlikely, an unlikely transfer to happen. But more importantly, you let us know what you think in the comment section below. Is that likely to happen? Is uh, your man Andros Townsend going to go to Swansea? And more importantly, is Carl Walker going to start eating beans on toast? Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. And what's what's there left to say? Is it come on you Spurs? Come on you Spurs. Come on you Spurs. Second bit of news today. According to ESPN, we are battling Liverpool for 10-goal Leicester striker Jamie Vardy. 